Why hello there, children of the night. And so today, uh, like I said yesterday, we're going to do an MLP episodic reaction series, but this time we're going to check out the actual episode. Like I said, special thanks to Bon Bon who, uh, who helped, who pointed me out to a website where they constantly update, show me, uh, where they, where they have, uh, MLP episodes on day one, so. So yeah, big thanks to Bon Bon who helps me, who helped me out, uh, so, and I think from now on, I don't think I'll, I'll no longer react to re, react to a reaction of the of the episode. <laughs> now I can actually react to the episode. Uh, and I, I don't. I heard that the name of this episode is called "The One That Pinkie Pie Knows," uh, at least from what I saw, saw of the title. But anyway, uh, I should stop. I should stop talking. <laughs> Let's just let's get moving. Six, screen. And of course, there's Back to the Future. I thought we'd see another Pinkie Pie episode. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, they... Uh, okay. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Hush. Like this intro at all. This intro is gonna be drawn out. And that's the I really need to edit this out. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Ooh, a new a new writer. I knew I knew Princess Cadence and Shining Hour would have a baby, but I I didn't think they would have a baby this soon. Keep that mouth shut, Piggy. We can't let them. We can't let their minds blow. Not now. Huh. This is gonna be. This is gonna be tough. Pretty much. And that's it. Oh, uh, how did you know all that? Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no one told us. <laughs> no one told us. No one told us. Yeah, 
Okay, mom just got, mom said she just got a whale. They're pl I guess that means she's playing Goat Evolution. Seriously, why are you people playing this game? Spike, what did you do? Joss was Joss Scorcher was right. You were the butt monkey to end all butt monkeys, and is that the? I guess that. I guess that's supposed to be, uh, supposed to be Smarty Pants' knight in shining armor. Did you see what I did there? Now look who's saying forever, Pinky. You did that once in season four. You did that once in season. Wait, <laughs> I just realized that right now, Pinky's doing the exact same thing that Twilight did back in Green Isn't Your Color. She has to keep a secret. Now you know how Twilight felt when you told her to keep the secret. <laughs> Flashback. Hire some pony to be my backup delivery pony. I'll do it. Really? Sure. There's no possible way that I could ever have anything that might interfere with doing that task. Like a gigantic, emotionally exhausting surprise that would make it super hard to be around other ponies. Wow, Piggy, you predicted the future. <laughs> you won't change your mind. No way. Cross my heart, hope to fly. It's like a cupcake in my eye. And how did Gummy get out there? Oh no. But seriously, Pinky, uh, it's not really. Wait, wait, is that is that Digibro in the background? But seriously, Pinky, it's not that hard to keep a lie. All you have to do is not tell anyone. And that's it. Hey there, uh, hey there. Hey there, CMC. I'm still blown away that they got their cutie marks. <laughs> still, to this day, I'm speechless. That's definitely gonna be something I'm getting used to. Oh, hi there, Fluttershy. <laughs> Wait, Piggy, you forgot your disguise. <laughs> Where did that come from? Pinkie Pie style. I was... I'm not going to question it. Not gonna question it. <laughs> not 
gonna question it. It didn't feel good ignoring my friends like that. Maybe I can tell just one little pony to surprise? No. A pony who is moving for surprise and some pony else has to live with that guilt. Forever. You're right, Suki. Reflection of rarity that I know is actually my own imagination. I can't tell any pony at all. Forever. I would tell Twilight and she wouldn't be surprised. And it would be all my fault. <laughs> I'm all alone on my own. Nah, 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 nah. Pinky, you have a message. I. Mine's starving too. This apple is delicious. Mm. What are you having, dummy? I just have a message. Please. Listen, Twilight helped me make yesterday, so I wouldn't forget all my Pinky promises today. And I have three more things to do. Getting liberal with those pinky promises lately. Yeah. You think? Ooh, I want a flamingo. I want a ghost fish. I but that fish doesn't have eyes. Wait, Featherweight got the talk? This is so weird. Weird. I, I don't think Featherweight has ever spoken up until this point. And now he has a voice. Come on. Your friends weren't kidding when they said you had a great body, Sister Baby. You are Ponyville's best kept secret. No, I'm not. Speaking of secrets, have you ever known somebody else's secret? No. A surprise that was so big and exciting that it was all you could think about? No. Me either. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, just what I wanted. Thanks, Pinky. You're welcome. Oh, by the way, had you help the, the animation on that thing is weird. <laughs> Pretty good slogan, huh? I came up with it all by myself. Please well, insert, uh, please insert a uh, wacky wibble and flailing arm flailing flib flib or joke here. Don't say it. 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 They can't know. They can't know that you're... They can't know about the cupcakes. Okay, Spike. <laughs> there. Oh, there you 
Mountain weekend with the best little sister in all of Equestria. <laughs> Hi, every pony. Ah, <sighs> thank you, Shining Armor. <sighs> Same here, Piggy. They did. But the good thing is, they didn't know about the cupcakes. They must never know. And so did we. Turned out we weren't needed in Maritonia until next week. And the summit we were supposed to attend today had to be rescheduled, so we got here even sooner than planned. Surprise! It's wonderful to see you all again. I'm so glad you're here. I have a big surprise for you. Oh, yeah? Keep it a secret, Pinky. Lucky we came when we did, huh? I'm guessing you saw the scroll we sent to Mr. and Mrs. Kate. Hey, I'm impressed you've been able to keep our secret this long. So you're gonna tell Twilight now? You're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer. We have something special planned. It'll be worth it. I promise. It is better. Yeah. So, do you think Shannon Armor liked a surprise? Didn't you see him? He couldn't stop raving about it. <laughs> Jeez, Shining Armor. See, throughout season five, you've been an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> Jeez. Don't tell them. They must never know. That's odd. Usually they're quite punctual. Oh, I need a hay burger in my belly right now. What's this? <gasps> what did it say? A scavenger hunt. Shining Armor used to set these up for me when I was a belly. At the end, there was always a big prize. Like a new book. Or several new books. Or we get the picture. So what's the first clue? I hope it's something about eating lunch. Because scrolls are on a roll, when it can take a seat where young ones spend their week, a piece of paper will continue to taper. I got it. Where the young ones spend their week. I'm not quite following. It's the Ponyville Schoolhouse. It's good enough for me. Now where's the next clue? will continue this caper. <gasps> it's in the full free press. Ooh, look at that dress Mayor Mayor is wearing in the social report. Why, it's stunning. Uh, didn't you make that rarity? Yeah. What is your what? <laughs> you know, there's really no time limit on these scavenger hunts, Pinky. Uh Though this hall is rather small, in it you'll find files of all kinds. Take a look on the back of the birth certificate of Applejack. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> I, I don't know. Don't spill the beans. Do you know where the birth certificates are kept? Oh, I can! Go down that hall, then you take a left, then a right, then another right, then a slight left, and the third door to the right. Well, Pinky, I never knew you knew so much about Cal There's a lot of things I know that you don't know I know! It must never know about the cupcakes. It's still you can adorable. Have a table or chair, or some comfy beds to rest little heads. <laughs> really? None of you? I don't know. Oh, God. Wow. <clears throat> Good at this, Pinkie Pie. It seems like they the best for last. We hope that you have had a blast. Now it's time to take a break. We need to get a slice of cake. Sugar Cube Corner. That was an easy one. 
Twilight, uh, did you like the scavenger hunt? It was perfect, just like old times. Except even better because this time I got to share it with my best friend. There's just one thing missing, isn't there? What's that? The book prize at the end. <laughs> There's still a prize, but it's a little different this time. Oh, I don't understand. All the places we sent you today had something in common. First we went to the schoolhouse. And then we read the full free press. Don't tell them. After that we found Applejack's birth certificate. And then the last clue was under a crib. Cool. Cool. Birth certificate. Don't tell them. Yeah. This is the best prize ever! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you guys. And I can't wait to meet your local. Neither can we. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you. Okay, so that has been the one that Pinkie Pie knows, and <laughs> I think this is better than, well, Party Pooped, <laughs> whereas Party Pooped, it was, it was like Games Ponies Play, this, it was basically that, it was basically that little side, side story from Games, from Green Isn't Your Color, eh. and basically turned into, whole, into a whole episode. <laughs> It, and the whole thing, it was just absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, really, Piggy didn't ha have to be this stressed. All she had to do is not tell anyone, and that's it. It may be stressful on the first day, but after a while, it, well, you can pretty much keep it a secret. All you have to do is not tell anyone. <laughs> I'm still thinking about the, of stuff to say about this. And, oh yeah, and not to mention the humor, it was basically, it's just the classic random Pinkie Pie humor. <laughs> and still, still just as better as ever. <laughs> and like I said, uh, at least we didn't tell, at least we didn't tell them about, uh, we didn't tell them about the baby up until this point, but at least we didn't tell them about the cupcakes. They can never know about those cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just saying, this episode, it was great. Huh? It was really, really great. In my opinion, this is probably so the best episode of season five. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I think Party Boots may still be my favorite, but, uh, but I think uh, this is definitely going to be my favorite, uh, at least so far. Uh, but I think Party Boots will still be my favorite even after this season is over. I don't know. I'm confused on what's the better, Party Poop or uh, or the one that Figgy Fine knows. <laughs> <sighs> but anyway, this this episode it was just awesome. Uh, I'd get I give so far. Uh, that's why I give this a. That's why I would give this episode nine crossed fingers out of ten. Uh, <laughs> so that's my final verdict. This episode it was just it was just awesome. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun watching an episode uh, since uh, Do Princesses Dream of Magic Sheep? And it, and also, I I actually really liked that episode when it came out, but after uh, analyzing it, uh, but after seeing, not analyzing it, after seeing, checking out the episode in further detail, I 
I don't. I still like the episode, but the more, but the moral at the end was 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 executed poorly. And did I mention that the now the rest of, that the episode was written by Scott Sonneborn, the the same guy that wrote, that wrote some funny to watch over me with just with a just as destructive moral as the as that episode. Ugh. I I hope next season or if there's a next season that Scott Sonneborn can stop writing destruct writing destructive morals. But anyway, enough of me rambling. This has been Eccentric Game Old and the one that Pinkie Pie knows. Stay smiling. Party on. Peace. <sighs> I need to catch my breath.